What's up, everybody? Chops365. This is January 5th. I'm back at my apartment tonight. Uh, I spent last night at my brother's. Hung out at some bars, had a good time. It was cool. Went back to work today. Um, afterwards, <clears throat> my uh, father actually picked me up and brought me back to the city. Um, got to bring the rest of my stuff back home finally, my Christmas gifts. Got my Wii here. Um, and I got my MacBook adapter again, so I'll probably be posting my videos from there from now on. Um, unless I'm on the road or somewhere else and I'll use my uh, video camera. It should make things a little bit easier. I should be able to edit more and uh, maybe add some intros and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, so today uh, I met up with some buddies of mine. Uh, we're actually working on a web series, a uh, comedy uh, series, which um, I'll probably elaborate more on later. I'm sure I'll have tons of updates in the coming weeks. We've been working on it for a while, and it's actually going pretty well. Uh, we haven't started filming yet, but we're just trying to write a lot of it. Uh, before we get the filming done so we can get and pump out a bunch of episodes at one time um, But yeah, we should be able I hope we can get um, a couple episodes done by you know early spring So we can really start getting it out there um, and Just see what people think I'll probably be advertising the crap out of it on here um, Also uh, after we had our meeting about the web series uh, we watched some great campy horror films, which are a passion of mine. I love old school, really, you know, uh, messed up or really stupid horror movies, sci-fi originals and stuff. Super Gator, Chupacabra, anything. Tonight we watched, um, what was it called, Rottweiler, about a half, uh, like a cyborg dog. They, the plot of the, the whole thing didn't make any sense, but it was pretty funny. And before that we watched... Um, Society, which was amazing. It was really funny, like 80s camp to the 10, really awesome um, campy horror film if you dig that kind of thing. And if you've got any suggestions for other sort of grindhouse double features, um, toss them to me. Uh, I'll definitely uh, pick up or rent or Netflix anything that uh, is funny and uh, horror or sci fi that's over the top. Uh, Hard Rock Zombies is probably my favorite one. Go out and buy that. I got it at Pathmark for six bucks a couple of years ago, and it's just completely hysterical. Um, so yeah, we um, just watched the movies over at my buddy Adam's place, and here I am now back here. Um, New Year's resolution number four. I think maybe four and five I came up with today. I guess they'll just keep coming. Um, number four is get better at managing money. Um, I don't think it's a completely unreasonable thing for me to get better at. I'm not terrible with money, but a lot of times when I get paid, I'll suddenly feel like I have a lot of money, so I end up spending it quickly. Then I realize I'm down to like 20 bucks and I have to you know, be starving and really careful for the next couple weeks until my next paycheck comes in. And then it's just the same cycle over and over again. So I'd like to get better at just when my paycheck comes in, being a little easy about it, and uh, maybe even saving some money for once, which would be really cool because living paycheck to paycheck, as it's been in the past semester, has been really, really tough. Uh, so if I can get just a little bit smarter um, about my purchases uh, and not be so quick to go out and spend it on stupid things, um, that would be really cool and beneficial. It just makes things so much more stressful than they need to be when you're worrying about when your check's going to clear, or if you're going to have enough money to you know, eat, um, having to charge things on a credit card, which my bill is getting out of hand, and I really need to be taking care of that too. So that's New Year's resolution number four. And um, New Year's resolution number five, I guess uh, kind of go with number... Um, was it of just taking things easier and um, not overthinking things, not over complicating things? Um, I think res resolution five is just to be a little less paranoid. Um, I'm a pretty easygoing guy for the most part, but I, I get really paranoid about stupid little things sometimes. Like I'll be on the train and get kind of claustrophobic or just expect the worst to happen. And um, 
and I just get like nervous and scared about like you know stupid over the top things um, and it really uh, it can hinder you from I guess living life to the fullest if you're just going to be scared of things ha bad things happening all the time um, so I think assuming the worst can just you know make you uh, really um, just not I guess not take risks um, and it just, you know, gets you all stressed out, too. Um, so I think, yeah, that's resolution number five. To not be paranoid, to not expect the worst, or to anticipate bad things, to kind of anticipate good things and not worry about over-the-top calamities that are really unlikely, that are just going to make things uh, harder than they already are. Um, to be a little more positive about little things, uh, that, that I will make it home on the train and everything is going to be all right. I live in a good neighborhood. Everything's fine. Don't be over paranoid about things. Um, yeah, that's all for now. It's January 5th, Chops 365, and I will see you tomorrow.